welcome you all to principles of organic synthesis so far we have studied aliphatic carbon 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 nitrogen bond formation organometallic reagents aromatic electrophilic substitution aromatic nucleophilic substitution and the preparation and the reactions of aromatic diazonium salts today we will start the new topic molecular rearrangements if you look at all the lectures so far that we had where if you remember the basic skeleton was remain intact today whatever we are going to study where we can find there will be rearrangement in the basic skeleton the rearrangement can be intramolecular or intermolecular the rearrangement can take place within the molecule or the rearrangement can take place between two molecules which is known as intermolecular rearrangement the rearrangement can occur to electron deficient as well as electron rich systems uh, today we will see the rearrangement to electron deficient carbon here an example shown this is wagner mirvin rearrangement if you look at this example albapinin which undergoes when you react with hydrochloric acid it gives isoamyl chloride and this is the some of the points you have to try to remember in the case of wagner mirvin rearrangement and if you take alcohol and we will see next when you react with acidic medium already you know that dehydration can take place you will be able to form a carbocation which can lead to rearrangement the driving force for the rearrangement is the greater stability of the carbocation if you form for example primary carbocation it can rearrange it to secondary or tertiary carbocation because they are more stable comparing to primary carbocation the cations can be made more stable if they become less strained this we will see some examples now let us look at uh, this reaction the reaction of albapinin with hcl it gives isoamyl chloride as all of you know very well when you react the substrate with acid it can undergo addition reaction then you will be able to form a tertiary carbocation it is actually a nucleophile electrophile it can undergo addition reaction already you know very well and you will be able to form a tertiary carbocation now the tertiary carbocation can react with cl minus you will be able to form this compound but doesn't happen here once you form the tertiary carbocation what happens now you have the four membered ring which due to strain now this carbon now migrates here so you get secondary carbocation as soon as you form this doesn't happen here instead of that you form this secondary carbocation so here if you look at here although this uh, tertiary carbocation more stable it goes to the secondary carbocation once you form this one now this reacts with cl minus and you get the product so in this case what happens as soon as you form it convert into less stable secondary carbocation because this is to relieve the strain that you have the from four membered ring when you convert four member to five membered ring the it gets a relief from the strain because this is a more strained one four membered ring and it can migrate to the here this carbon so now you generate a five membered ring which is less strained comparing to four membered ring and once you form this one now this can react with the cl minus you will be able to get this compound so this is an example now you can look at here and as soon as you form uh, the carbocation which uh, rearranges to give you a, an intermediate 
more stable carbocation. That carbocation now, uh, particularly in this case, uh, the uh, ring stain plays a very important role. You form this secondary carbocation that uh, reacts to give the product. As all of you know very well, in this reaction there are two steps are involved. First, uh, you form the carbocation, then uh, the addition reaction takes place. So, this is the rate determining step. The first the formation of addition reaction is the rate determining. Once you form this one, then it can rearrange and then uh, you have the another carbocation which undergoes reaction, you will get the addition product. Here another example shown the reaction of alkyl halide with Lewis acid silver plus in the presence of which can undergo reaction to give a carbocation that carbocation undergoes reaction you get this. So, the intermediate this one. So, once you have this alkyl halide when you react with the Lewis acid and then it can convert into primary carbocation silver bromide. Once you form this one now, so this is the rate determining step. Once you form this one now, this can migrate and to give a yeah, secondary carbocation. Now, uh, you can migrate, give you a tertiary carbocation. If you look at here, now you have the primary carbocation. When you do the migration, you get the uh, tertiary carbocation, which is more stable comparing to the primary carbocation. So, this is the driving force in this reaction. As soon as you form the primary carbocation, it is converted into tertiary carbocation, which is more stable. Once you form this one, now, you can lose a proton, you will be able to have alkene. Alternatively, if you have nucleophile, in this case you have the ethanol. So, which, which can react, you will be able to form ether as the product. So, once you form the primary carbocation, it rearranges, you get the uh, new pentyl cation treasury one. Once this treasury one is uh, formed, which can undergo reaction with the nucleophile, depends upon the reaction conditions. Here you have the ethanol, which can undergo reaction, you will be able to get. And as I mentioned, the first one is the slow step, and second one is faster, and during the reaction takes place. So, the rearrangement reaction is sometimes very useful. As this, uh, that depends upon the nature of the substrates as well as reaction conditions, they are very important to carry out this transformation. So, we have seen one example for uh, alkyl halide, similar way you can try to do. For example, you can also use for example, this alcohol. So, this alcohol also when you react with acid, you will be able to form similar way uh, primary carbocation, which can rearrange us to get this and you can also use alkene. For example, this also when you add acid as we have seen, you can undergo addition reaction and you will be able to form. This can again migrate. So, we will be able to have here primary carbocation to tertiary, My, after migration we will get this. And similarly, in this case to once this migrate, now we have the secondary carbocation, it can now the methyl group with the bond pair can migrate here. So, you will be able to form tertiary carbocation, you will have this one. Once you form this one, this can now undergo reaction, depends upon the reaction conditions. If you have the nucleophile, it can undergo addition reaction otherwise it can lose proton, you will be able to get alkene. You can also in place of this one, you can also use amine. For example, you have this primary amine. When you react with the nitrous acid, already we have seen. So, you can make diastonium salt. Once you form this one, you will be able to form primary carbocation which can 
lead to rearrangement as we have seen. So, that's only I mentioned, just nature of the substrate. You can use alkyl halide or alcohol, depends upon the reaction conditions and the nature of the substrates, they can uh, lead to rearrangement to give a more stable carbocation or we have seen one example where the stability of the system is very important. If you have four membered ring, it can try to convert into five membered ring to relieve the strain in this way you will get the rearrangement carbocation which can further undergo reaction to give the addition or elimination product. Here the reaction of isoboneal shown which can in the presence of acid can convert into camphene. So, so far the first example uh, also bicyclic system then we have seen the linear molecule. Now, let us look at the rearrangement of this reaction as just we have seen. So, when you react with acid, so which can lose water molecule. You form a secondary carbocation, which can undergo rearrangement as shown here, you have the sigma bond which can, this bond can migrate with its bond pair to give So, now let us look at here, when you add a proton and you get this proton species which can lose water molecule. Uh, to give a secondary carbocation which rearranges to more stable tertiary carbocation. This is a driving force for the rearrangement of this secondary to uh, tertiary carbocation because this is more stable it can uh, rearranges. Once if we rearrange now again as I mentioned depends upon the reaction conditions if we have the nucleophile it can undergo addition reaction or it can lose. So, you can lose the proton then you will be able to form oh, which is So, this is equivalent to campaign. So, in this reaction protonation followed by dehydration gives this uh, uh, protonation followed by uh, loss of water to generate the secondary carbocation which can rearrange it to more stable tertiary carbocation once you form this one which can convert into this alkene by losing proton. So, this uh, how this reaction takes place. The driving force in this reaction is the formation of tertiary carbocation from the secondary carbocation. Once you form this one, then it can convert into this alkene as the product. Next example, the reaction of this alcohol with this acid can give this alkene as the product. And in this reaction, as just we have seen, the protonation can give this molecule which can lose water, you will be able to form carbocation, the secondary carbocation. Once you form this one, now 
So, two possibilities there it can convert into alkene by losing this proton. This does not happen, this is because the double bond is present and the bridge head is very uh, strained. So, it does not uh, cannot form the double bond here therefore, and the possi other possibility is there now this can migrate here. So, this methyl group can migrate to this carbocation with this bond bear. So, to give Have the carbocation which can now lose proton. You get the. So, as you can see here, uh, this the reaction uh, is depends on the nature of the substrate. So, in this case, the methyl group migrates with this bond back to this position then uh, removal of proton give this uh, alkene as the product because this other alkene does not form. Uh, this is because uh, this due to strain and this this carbocation undergoes rearrangement and then you get this tertiary carbocation you have secondary carbocation undergoes rearrangement to give the tertiary carbocation once if you give this uh, form this one which can convert into the alkene as the product. Here the rearrangement of a polycyclic system is shown here. If you look at this example and when you react with acid as just we have seen and you can uh, lose water molecule then you will be able to form a carbocation. Once you form the carbocation So, you have to remember uh, in this uh, always the rearrangement uh, that uh, whatever the incoming uh, group comes opposite to the uh, leaving group like S n to S n to reaction with inverted uh, configuration. Therefore, uh, when you react this one and then uh, you have the carbocation this uh, this the in this case the hydrogen migrates here instead of methyl group this is added to that leaving group therefore, hydrogen migrates here. Now, we have a carbocation. Now, then this methyl group uh, migrate. So, here methyl group migrates then you get uh, a another carbocation here. So, you have the carbocation this carbocation now this methyl group migrates here and you have another carbocation then this uh, group comes here and goes on like this until you have the carbocation here. If you if I write it will take time and what happens here you form the carbocation once you form the carbocation the hydrogen migrates once migrates you have the another carbocation then this methyl group comes here and look at here and if it comes the top side anyway here there, there is no difference when you come this one. Now, let us uh, look at here. Now, the hydrogen comes the same side the leaving group this opposite side the top beta side top side the uh, this methyl group migrates and the bottom side the hydrogen comes here therefore, it comes uh, this one like alpha and uh, now once this comes the top side this methyl group migrates the bottom side uh, this hydrogen comes here the top side this goes here and this bottom side and you will have the carbocation. Once you have the carbocation now it can lose proton then you will be able to get these compounds. See what happens here here 7 success 1 to shift takes place 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. 7 successive ship takes place then you will be able to get this alkene as the product. Now, let us look at 
here as you can see here seven successive one to shift takes place and you will be able to form uh, this alkene as the product. The next example let us look at this one as just we have seen in this case and when you react with this Lewis acid and acetic anhydride see why this elimination of this can produce a carbocation once you form the carbocation this methyl group can migrate with this bond pair to this carbon uh, the top side. So, you will have this this one make a new carbon carbon bond and you have the carbocation. Now, the bottom side the hydrogen with its bond pair can come here and in this way the migration takes place in this 5 1 2 shift takes place. You can see a, here 1 2 3 4 and 5. So, you can see here this uh, in this way you can uh, try to convert this you can see here this is the reaction stereospecific. Always the migration takes place from the opposite side to the leaving group in this way the reaction can be stereospecifically can be carried out. Here another example shown in this case uh, whatever so far we have seen where in one case we had the hydrox group which we treat with acid you can uh, convert into uh, carbocation by losing water molecule which undergoes rearrangement. The second example we have seen the removal of uh, acetate group uh, using the Lewis acid which can form the carbocation that can lead to the rearrangement to give the alkene as a product. In this case you can see here you have the double bond as well as OH group. In this case the OH group is intact and the double bond when you react with this acid it can undergo protonation. Once you form the protonation here you form a carbocation in this place. Now once you make the carbocation this methyl group migrates here with its bond pair bottom side then you have the another carbocation. Now this methyl group migrates want to shift from here to there the top side and you have the carbocation the bottom side now the hydrogen with its bond pair migrates and you have the carbocation here. The top side the methyl group migrates with its bond pair and similarly this goes on then you will be able to get this compound. You can see here the reactions studio specific once again. So, the rearrangement can be carried out and you will have now carbocation the tertiary carbocation again now reacts this methyl group undergoes migration uh, in this case this methyl group can undergo because this is the top side can undergo here and then uh, one to migration. So, with bond pair you will have the carbocation once you have this one now this can lose proton then you can get the alkene as the product. So, far we have seen the migration of uh, mostly alkyl group. Now, let us look at uh, the migration of aryl uh, system. Now, let us look at this alkyl halide where you have the phenyl substituent. When you react with Lewis acid as just we have seen for example, when you react with silver plus and you can form a carbocation in this case you form a phenonium ion this once you form this and this this provides by uh, due to the neighboring group participation of this aryl ring you will form this intermediate. Once you form this one now this can convert into uh, this uh, tertiary carbocation you have the primary carbocation you are through the angimeric assistance you form of the phenyl group you form this uh, intermediate once you form this one which can convert into this uh, tertiary carbocation which can now lose proton then you will be able to get this styrene derivative. If you compare the reactivity of uh, the methyl group or alkyl group with this phenyl one, this under same reaction conditions the aromatic the phenyl ring shows greater reactivity comparing to the methyl group. Uh, this is because of this uh, system angimeric assistance and uh, the reaction is facilitated several times faster. In addition to that if you have here electron donating group for example, the aromatic ring for example, if you have the methoxy group 
or methyl or electron withdrawing group. So the reaction that contains electron donating group shows greater reactivity comparing to that having the electron withdrawing group. This because of the electron nature of this aromatic system, if the electron rich, it can facilitate this neighboring group participation, then the reaction can be facilitated. Therefore, whenever you have the electron withdrawing group, donating group, the aromatic ring, and such system shows greater reactivity comparing to that having electron withdrawing group. For example, if you compare this one with benzene and this has electron uh, donating group shows greater reactivity comparing to benzene. If you have electron withdrawing group again this will show greater reactivity comparing to that having electron withdrawing group. We compare with alkyl group this aromatic system shows greater reactivity comparing to alkyl group. This is because of uh, the angimeric assistance of the aryl system. Here the reaction of alkyl amine is shown as we have seen earlier this in the presence of nitrous acid it can form the diazonium salt. Once if, if you form the diazonium salt now it can convert into the carbocation and once you form the carbocation in this case and this is a primary carbocation and now if the hydrogen ships with this bond pair then you will be able to form a secondary carbocation. So, this is the driving force in this reaction you convert from the primary to secondary carbocation once you form this one. Now, if you have the nucleophile in this case uh, you have the water which can undergo addition reaction you get the isopropyl as a product. It can also lose proton then you can form this alkene propene as the product. So, already you know that how it you can form the diazonium salt we have seen earlier we have Once you form this one now this can when you enter protonation so this can lose water molecule you will be able to form the salt diazonium salt once you form this one and it can be easily uh, converted into the carbocation by losing nitrogen and once you form this one which can in this case uh, the hydrogen ship takes place the hydrogen with its bond pair can move to this carbocation you will be able to form the secondary carbocation once form this one which can be further converted into a neutral molecule in this case if you lose proton you get the alkene on the other hand if you react with the water molecule and you will be able to get alcohol as the product. Here the reaction of uh, this alcohol are shown tricyclic system you have here 6 membered and 4 membered and uh, 5 membered ring and there when you react uh, this molecule with uh, 40 percent sulfuric acid the formation of this uh, product observed in this case the ring expansion of this 4 membered ring happened as we have seen earlier uh, 
when you react with acid, you end up with this tertiary carbocation. Once you form this one, as we have seen earlier, you have the four member ring. Now this bond can undergo migration to give So, we will have this secondary carbocation as just we have seen earlier and although you have the tertiary carbocation and it is converted into secondary carbocation, this is to relieve the strain of the four member ring. So, this undergoes migration here and you will be able to form a five member ring and six member ring once you form the secondary carbocation. Now, this can react with water and you will be able to get this product. So, in this case as we have seen in the case of alvapinin here also the relief of the strain of four membered ring dominates comparing to the stability of the carbocation where the tertiary carbocation is converted into secondary carbocation through the this rearrangement once you form this one this can further react with water molecule to give this alcohol as the product. So far we have seen some examples for the wagner mirwin rearrangement as you can see here the reaction is stereo specific. And we have seen uh, examples for the, uh, the migration of hydrogen methyl group as well as aromatic system. Uh, they migrate with the, their bond pair to the electron deficient carbocation. In ca some cases we have seen the stability of the carbocation plays very important role. Uh, if you form primary uh, carbocation it is uh, converted into tertiary carbocation to then the reaction takes place and some cases we have seen the ring strain plays very important role. If there is a four member ring and it can rearrange to five member ring so that it can uh, relieve the strain this some of the examples uh, we have seen where the carbocation converts into is converted from tertiary to secondary where the ring strain plays very important role comparing to the stability of the carbocation. Now, let us look at the pinacol rearrangement. If you have pinacol when you react with the acid and as we have seen is similar to the wagner mirwin rearrangement and you can uh, do the protonation and form the carbocation. Once you form the carbon then it can undergo migration you can get this compound. So, phenacol can be easily made all of you know very well if you have the ketone. So, if you add give electron, so it can convert into so you can dimerize and you will make the
For example, when you react with So you'll be able to get uh, the corresponding dial as the product. So now when you react this spinacol with the sulfuric acid, you get this ketone. When you look at the reaction pathway, when you add acid, protonation of hydroxy group, Once you form this one, now once you form this one, this can lose uh, water molecule. You form. A carbocation, as just we have seen, now this can migrate with this bond pair, so you will be able to form this intermediate which can lose a proton to give the ketone as the product. So, if you have the diol, when you react with acid, it can be converted into ketone. This feature of this reaction is similar to that of uh, wagner maven rearrangement. Here also the carbon migrates to electron deficient system, you form a carbocation which undergoes reaction. Here an example shown here, this reaction also stereospecific. Now, let us look at this dimethyl cyclohexane diol. So, in this case, if you look at here, you have this, if you see the relationship between this OH group and this one, both are axial axial. This means uh, trans. Uh, when you do react with acid, in this case, the protonation, for example, if it takes place here, you will lose. the water molecule, you form the carbocation. Now, this can migrate here and you will be able to form This ketone was the product. On the other hand, now let us look at this one. In this case, if you see the relation between this one, this is equatorial, this axial, and similarly, this axial equatorial, the, their, uh, the relationship is cis, equatorial, uh, axial equatorial, the relation between this OH group and methyl group is cis. So, when you react with acid, in this case, for example, if you form the carbocation, so this now since now this can now undergo reaction, this bond can migrate here then you will be able to form In this case, you will be able to form a yeah. 
this five membered cyclic compound which can lose proton so you will be able to form this ketone as the product so this just we have seen the case of wagner mirvin rearrangement here all the stereochemistry is very uh, the reaction is stereo specific if we have the trans relationship between these leaving and uh, migrating group then the reaction takes place this is what happens here and similarly what uh, also happens here here since the relation between this and this are trans then the migration takes place and the, between these two are cis so therefore in, in the place of this in, in this compound and uh, this bond migrates instead of this methyl group you get the cyclo uh, pentane derivatives as the product now let us look at the reaction of this diol and here as just we have seen protonation of this so one of the oh group can give this carbocation this can now undergo migration you form a pi six membered ring the product a reaction of this diol to this bicyclic alkene is shown here in this reaction once as just we have seen protonation followed by loss of water can for example in this case generate this carbocation once we have this one as just we have seen and this can migrate here so then you'll be able to form a five member ring four five member ring with the ketone once you form the ketone you can try to reduce for example lithium aluminum hydride then you will be able to get the corresponding alcohol as the product once we have this one and you can react with acid as just we have seen and you can uh, lose water protonation followed by loss of water can give carbocation once you form this one now as we have seen now this is four member ring to relieve the strain it can undergo rearrangement so you will be able to form a five member ring with the carbocation here once you form this one now this can lose proton then you'll be able to get this 
bicyclic alkene as the product. This slide shows some of the literature examples which depend on the nature of the temperature as well as concentration of the acid that has been employed in the Pinacal rearrangement. Uh, for example, here the rearrangement of the diol to this spirocyclic compound shown here, okay, which can depends upon the temperature. You can see here, and in this case, uh, when you have the temperature, lower temperature, this undergoes. this undergoes protonation then uh, this uh, bond migrates you get the the seven membered on the other hand when you have the higher temperature and this OH group undergoes protonation then this five membered ring ring expansion takes place and you get this uh, system and here similarly when you have the concentration different concentration also and you can see here the concentration is when you have the concentrated acid and you here you can see and uh, this ring expansion of this takes place on the other hand uh, when you have higher concentration the ring expansion of this pi membered system takes place on the other hand when you have the low concentration and the ring expansion of the seven membered cyclic system takes place you will be able to get the corresponding cyclic compound. When you have the concentrated acid also, there is also, it also undergoes elimination. You can see a drawl bond is missing. It can also undergo elimination in this way, you will be able to uh, get a mixture of compounds. So, this the reaction uh, conditions also very important as you can see here, the temperature as well as concentration of acid also plays very important role in phenacol rearrangement. Now, let us go for uh, the benzylic acid rearrangement. So, here just we have seen the rearrangement of diol to ketone. Here, when you have the ketone, diketone does not have the alpha hydrogen, this is very important, does not have the alpha hydrogen which can react with the hydroxide ion to give alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid. In this reaction, the formation of stable carboxylate salt is a driving force for the uh, benzylic acid rearrangement. Now, let us look at the benzyl. When you react with the hydroxide ion, which can undergo addition reaction with uh, carbonyl group, and you get this compound. Once you form this one, now this can rearrange as shown here, and you will be able to get the uh, the carboxylic alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid. And after the workup, here an example shown here. In this case, as you can see here, when hydroxide ion reacts here, and you will be able to form. Once you undergo addition reaction, this bond can migrate here, then you will be able to have So, if uh, the addition takes place in this carbonyl group, this bond can migrate, you get the this carboxylic acid as the product, this uh, what is observed here. The next example involves a uh, reaction of this diketone, this also does not have the alpha hydrogen you can see here, when you react with the hydroxide ion, it can undergo addition reaction with one of the carbonyl group. Suppose, if the reaction takes place here. So, 
So this can now react here, then this can go here, it can undergo addition reaction and you will be able to get this uh, carboxylic acid as a product. And similarly, here uh, the reaction of this diketone shown can readily react this uh, diketone with potassium hydroxide and you can get this uh, rearranged product. So far we have seen three types of rearrangement, wagner mirwin rearrangement where uh, we have seen the migration of uh, alkyl as well as aryl groups. Then we have seen the pinacol and pinacolin rearrangement. They have similar kind of uh, reactivity. They are also, if you have the diol, one of the OH group can undergo protonation that can convert in loose water, you will make a carbocation, which can convert into ketone as the product, where we have seen similar kind of, if you have the comparing to alkyl, we have seen uh, the migration of alkyl group, you can aryl group also can migrate, hydrogen also with its bond pair can migrate. So, if you see the relative reactivity, the aryl group shows greater reactivity comparing to alkyl. When you have the even electron donating group in the aromatic system, which shows greater reactivity comparing to that having electron with the drawing group. Then we have seen the benzyl uh, to benzylic acid rearrangement in the presence of uh, hydroxide ion. Now, let us look at the reaction using uh, diisomethane, the ont state uh, synthesis and if you have for example carboxylic acid and you can convert into acid chloride which can be further reacted with this diisomethane in the presence of silver oxide, you will be able to uh, form this carboxylic acid. What you do here, you increase one carbon atom here and you can also do the reaction with the ketone. Or for example, if you take this ketone you can also react with the diisomethane. You can undergo addition reaction. So now, this can rearrange you will be able to form, for example, if you have, if this rearranges, you will be able to get this uh, ketone, where you add one carbon CH2 extra. And similarly, this also, sometimes it can also cyclize and you will be able to form epoxide. Similarly, if you have the carboxylic acid, I can convert into acid chloride which also can be reacted and you will be able to get uh, carboxylic acid with uh, one carbon more. And here the mechanism shown, let us take this acid, an example, when you react with thionyl chloride. you will have this salt. Once you have this one, now this can undergo addition reaction. This way you can generate the acid chloride. Once you form this acid chloride, now you can try to react with the diisomethane as just we have seen. So this can undergo addition reaction, you will be able to form.
once you form this one, this can uh, lose proton because acidic, you have uh, this proton, you have Cl minus, then you can lose proton, then you'll be able to form So this can, you can, Once you form this one, this uh, depends upon the reaction conditions. For example, if you have water nucleophile, which can undergo addition reaction, and then you will be able to form the corresponding carboxylic acid. So, if you remember here, you add one CH2 extra in this case, and uh, so you will be able to, for example, you start here with uh, the carboxylic acid, and you have this carboxylic acid, you can see uh, the addition of one uh, CH2. This also very important reaction as you can see here, the diisomethane also can be made easily made. They also once you form this one which can undergo addition reaction with acid chloride and you can do homologation like this. Now, let us look at some literature examples. You look at this carboxylic acid and when you react with axial chloride, you can convert it into the corresponding acid chloride as just we have seen the reaction with using thionyl chloride. Once if you have this one, this as just we have seen, you can try to react with the diisomethane and you can convert into uh, the isocyanate. Once you form this one and which can be further uh, reacted with the nucleophile, you will be able to get uh, this carboxylic acid. Here also the reaction of this acid chloride is shown using diisomethane and you can also generate the carbene using light and you will be able to form which can now undergo rearrangement. Once if you have this one in this case the reaction of methanol shown which can undergo addition reaction. For example, when you have this acid chloride when you react with uh, diisomethane you will have Once if we have this one as just we have seen and the presence of light, it can convert into carbene. As just we have seen, this can migrate here and you will be able to form. So once you have this one, this can now undergo reaction with methanol, addition reaction. So you'll be able to get uh, this ester as the product. In summary, today we have seen four types of rearrangement. We have seen the Wagner-Mirwin rearrangement, where you form a carbocation, 
this carbocation undergoes rearrangement to give the more stable carbocation and some cases we have seen the more strained ring undergoes rearrangement you will be able to form carbocation which can and depends upon the reaction conditions you can undergo reaction with the nucleophile or it can lose proton you will get the product uh, we, then we have seen the pinacol rearrangement if you have the diol and which can be converted into ketone using acid we have seen some examples and if you see the reaction both wagner mervin as well as pinacol rearrangement they are stereo specific and then we have seen the benzylic acid rearrangement if you have the diketone if that diketone doesn't have alpha hydrogen so when you react with hydroxyl ion it can undergo rearrangement to alpha hydroxy uh, carboxylic acid and this is uh, we have seen some examples then we have seen the homologation of acid chloride if you have the acid chloride you can try to react with the diisomethane once you form this one which can be further reacted with water in this way you can increase uh, one carbon one ch2 addition into the carboxylic acid this is known as and ester synthesis where if you have the carboxylic acid you can try to react with the diisomethane it can increase the homologation of this carboxylic acid uh, if you look at uh, the reaction wagner mervin pinacol rearrangement where uh, the aromatic group migrates much faster comparing to alkyl group and we, this is due to the angimeric assistance we have seen some examples and with this we conclude this lecture thank you very much